everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Jeanette from Body Quest Sewing and Crafts. This video, what I am going to do is I am going to show you how I embroider this on bathroom tile towels. Bathroom, I was gonna say bathroom tiles. Okay, these are bathroom towels. Okay, so I already have two done. This is for a customer. They went and they purchased their um the, the towels and um they wanted the initials to be put on the towel so i already have two done I and my order was four i have these two done and um they want two with the j and the p so this one's done already and this is ready to be packaged up so um i always like to package things up really nice and neat for my customers so I'm going to package this up right now because I just want to show you what we're going to do. And then after I bag this baby up, I am going to work on the last towel and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Now in the video, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a link to where I purchased this font. I got it out of, out of Etsy. Really nice. This is This size is pretty big. It, it comes in a three inch, three and a half, and a four inch. This one that you see on the towel is a four inch. Okay, this is the big one. So, um, so yeah, so this is the big one. And let me just uh, close this up here. And I gotta reopen them because I just remembered I did not put my, uh, my card in any of these. Um, usually what I do is I put these little cards in here. These are little instruction cards that I like to give all of my customers. And then in the back, it has step-by-step -step instructions on how to take care of your embroidery. This is like, this is really good to give to the customers because a lot of times people like embroidery, but they really don't know how to take care of it. So, uh, even though I know this customer does, but I know this is a gift for someone, so I'll just put this behind here. And I'll put one in each of the bags of the towel, you know, like this. That way they have it and stuff. But I'll do that later, because I know right now you guys want to see, how did you do these? Okay, so I'm going to, let me put these on the side. Put these on the side somewhere. And let me show you the last towel that I have. All right, so this is how I'm going to do this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you back a little bit so you guys are probably going to see me, okay, because I usually just like to show you guys what I'm doing, but hopefully you guys can see everything. All right, so what I usually do is I open the towel and then I look for the tag, and I see the tag here. So the tag is, the area where I have the tag is not where I want to embroider. This is really the back of the towel. So I'm gonna flip it and I'm actually going to embroider on the other side, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around. And as you can see, the tag is on this side, okay? So this is gonna go over here. And then I am going to use this side over here, right? So what I like to do is I like to just push it down like this and then I'm going to scoot over here because what I what you want to do is you want to take your measuring tape and now I need the measuring tape. I need to take something else too. Sorry, I know I'm walking all over in front of the camera. Okay, guys, but I think I can want to make sure that I have everything that I need. Okay. So first of all, you want to find out where the middle point is of your um, of your towel. Okay. <laughs> ah, let me make sure that you guys can see everything because I don't want to like videotape this whole thing, and then you guys don't see. That would that would suck, wouldn't it? Okay. Let me make sure. You guys a little higher. All right. Okay. There you go, you guys can see. All right, so, all right, so here we go, all right. So, here we have the uh, the towel. I have it all laid out. 
this is the area where I want the embroidery to be, okay? Now, the thing is you want your design to be right smack in the middle, right? But you have to find your center point. I usually have these little stickers. A lot of times people use either like a marking pen or, you know, or chalk. I actually end up finding out that these stickers work better for me for the simple fact that sometimes when you use like a marking pen, sometimes, it, you know, Sometimes you can get a cheap brand and then you can't get it out. So I, I don't want to have any chances, especially when I'm dealing with customer products. So I usually like to have these stickers because the stickers are really easy to just remove. So anyway, going back to this. Now, these towels, what I usually do is I'll take the measuring tape and I go right across. 26 inches, okay? That's what we're talking about. So the 26 inches... The halfway point for 26 inches is 13 inches, right? So I have this put here, and I know 13 inches is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sticker. Okay, and I saw my ruler. Ooh, it's moving. All right, so I'm going to move it right back to place. 26, 26. And I'm holding it. And right here is where I'm going to put my little sticker right at the 13 inch mark okay and what i usually do is i know this is where i want the bottom of my embroidery to be because i'm using this little area to just put in here so let me uh move you a little closer so you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about okay because a lot of times people have problems when they are trying to center their items and i want to make sure you guys can see exactly how i do this okay so, let me move you a little bit closer, and let me move this down a little bit like this, and you guys can see. Okay, awesome. This is a good spot. All right. So, as you can see, this towel has this little lining right here. When I measure across, it's 26 inches, right? So, I'm going here to here. Now, what I like to do is this, I, I like to, you know... The width of this little measuring tape, I'm going to use this to create little spacing so that way I, the bottom of my embroidery can start like right around here, right where this dot is. So right here is my 13 inch and then I take my little sticker and I put it right there. When I take this off, you're going to notice that it's 13 inches right here, but I have that little spacing here, which that spacing is just the, the, the width you know, the height of this little ruler that I have right here, okay? All right, so now I know this is my my center point, okay? So now we got to have to hoop it, okay? So I'm going to take you up a little bit. Let me take you up. Man, it's hot in this room, I tell you. So now I don't have anything. I'm going to turn on the fan. It's, well... Yeah, let me turn on the fan because I am sweating. All right, so anyway. Oh, that's yeah, not on. Okay, got it. All right, so you guys might hear my little fan going on, but that's all right. All right, so I don't need this anymore. Now, what am I going to use to uh, hoop this, okay? Well, I have water-soluble stabilizer. I'm going to put this on top. Now, this is another thing that I want to talk to you guys about knockdown stitches right um sometimes i use knockdown stitches sometimes i don't all right now one of the things that i want to do and i'm going to take you down a little bit so we can take a look at this towel really really closely okay and i'm going to probably put it close to the camera if you look at this towel and you feel it as you can see it does have a little fuzz but the fuzz is really not very high okay so I don't need knockdown stitches for this, all right? If you have something that is very, very, very fuzzy, where the fuzz is like very, very high, then I would recommend using knockdown stitches. But the way that this towel is made, it's like terry cloth, right? You don't need the knockdown stitches for this. So I wouldn't worry about that. You can use the font as is, okay? All right, so what I am going to use for the top of this towel is the water soluble so i have water soluble right here and i am going to use this on the top 
For the bottom, <clears throat> excuse me, for the bottom, I'm actually going to use tearaway stabilizer. And I had cut a piece of tearaway stabilizer and now I don't know where it is. Hold on. Let me um lift you up a little bit. Cause now um we can get a little higher here. And uh yeah, that's weird. I hope Mello didn't uh, run off with my stabilizer. Oh, I'm sorry. I have it already on my on my poopy station. Okay, so let me fix the camera a little bit because I think you guys are a little twisted here. Okay, guys, camera is a little bit better. I think you guys were a little on the twisted side, but anyway. All right, now I have my hoopy station. Usually, let me take this out of here. Um, usually, my hoopy station, this is the water salad bowl. I'll leave this later. I usually have it like this on my table, okay? But to hoop this, because it's a towel and it's kind of long, okay? What I usually do, and this is one of the reasons why I really, really love this table. I wanna make sure you guys can see everything they do. Um, and I think you can. Let me put you back a little bit back. The reason why I really like this table is because of the wheels, right? So whenever I need to move it around the room, okay, to make any type of adjustments, this is so flexible. So I kind of like this, you know? So it's just my preference. So usually because of the towel and it's so long, I already have this now. Let me take this out so you can see. This is a um, tearaway stabilizer. The hoop that I'm using for this is the eight, the eight by 13 hoop. Okay, so mighty hoop. So I'm going to have, this is tearaway stabilizer. I usually buy them by the roll. So that way I can use them for the big long ones. So um, I'm just gonna place this on here right at the bottom. I just snap it at the bottom. I don't really need it to snap too much on the top. There you go, hold it. So what I usually do is I take my station and I just turn it around. All right, there you go. And then I see where my dot is, right? Then what I'm planning on doing is I'm just going to lay it on here really gently and I feel and you want to try to take your time when you're doing this you don't want to rush it because it is a lot of fabric and you don't want to like you know mess up hooping it up and all that kind of stuff so now remember the green dot that you put on there that little sticker or whatever you use to make that little mark you know that that's your center point right so, I just try to center it on the hoop as best as possible along with that point on the hoop. But I don't worry about it too much because I'm always gonna fix it at the machine. There you go, this is good. Okay, make sure that it looks good. So now I'm going to take the top of the hoop, if I can find it, where did I put it? Okay, there it is. All right, and then I'm just going to snap it in. There you go. And then I'm going to just align it to make sure that it is straight. And it is. It is. It looks good. There you go. All right, let me bring the camera close so that you guys can see exactly what it looks like, okay? It looks nice and snug. And let me just move the table a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring you guys over here, okay? So you guys can see how I actually did this. So as you can see, I have it on the hoop. Let me make it a little closer so you guys can see right there. And see right here how I have my center point. And then what I do is I look at this and I want to make sure it's as straight as possible. This is the center point of the hoop. And I know I'm a little off, but that's okay. I'll fix that when I get to the machine, okay? So now that I have that done, right? Now I'm going to go over to my machine. All right, and I'm going to scooch you over here. Sorry, I know sometimes that gets you guys a little dizzy when I do that. 
All right, so as you can see, I have the font that's already loaded on my machine, okay? Now, um, I have it loaded upside down. The reason why I have it loaded upside down is because I need it to embroider that way, okay? Um, and let me move you out this way so that you guys can see exactly what I mean, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this over here. All right, so this is the Brother 1055X, and it, you know, what I love about this machine, it came with this board, and this is great for when you are embroidering blankets, quilts, and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm gonna lay this on. Always take your time also when you're working with brick big projects because you don't want to like mess up okay so as you can see this is the bottom of my back towel so that's why i have this upside down because i need it to embroider that way on here okay so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put this on the machine now And now that I have it in the machine, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to do a scan, okay? Now when I look for the scan, the final, I'm going to be looking for that green dot. So let's look over here and I'm going to show you the screen because I want you to see what I look at when I am doing this. Okay, I'm going to move you up a little bit and let's go over here a little bit and then we're going to take a look at it. Okay, all right, here we go. Now, there's two things that I want you to see right now. Okay, after I scanned it in, as you can see right here, okay, right here, that's the green dot. Okay, you see the green dot? It's right here. Now I want you to look at this little area right here. Oops, see that little area? Okay, it has like that little line. That's the center point, okay? So that means that the green dot should be centered in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it over a little bit. Oh. There you go. So you see how now I have this little green line right here centered nicely with that dot. Okay, so I'm good. That means it is centered exactly where I want it. Okay, now this is supposed to be a little bit up because I want this to be right below the green dot. Even though it's centered, it's not really where I want it to be. So I'm gonna scroll it down. I'm gonna move it down the, the item. Oops. There you go. There you go. So see how this is at the bottom? This is where this is where I want my my letters to start. Okay? This is the center point, all right? But I want the bottom of my letters to be right there. Okay? So perfect. Now it's it's exactly where I want it to be. Okay, so now that I have that, all right? What I want to do also is I want to make sure that I do a trace. So I'm going to be tracing the machine because the reason why you want to trace is you want to make sure that none of these areas are going to hit your mighty hoop. So I always do a trace no matter what. So I'm looking at this one. Perfect. Perfect. So it's aligned perfectly how I want it, okay. Now that I know that it is golden, exactly how I want it to be, okay, now what I can do is I can remove that little green dot that I put there. I don't need it anymore. So I'm gonna take that out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the water soluble stabilizer. I'm gonna put it on there. And I'm gonna have to turn off the fan because this is gonna blow this stuff away. Yeah, all right, hold on, let me turn off the fan now. Let's 
pasta, okay? I'm gonna get a little air. See how it started to flow away? Okay, so another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add basting stitch. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, let's see. Oh, it had basting stitch. All right, it had the basting stitch, sorry. So I'm going to have to scroll this back down. Let's see, it moved a little bit on me. There you go. There, perfect, all right. And then let me edit. I want to make the basting stitch just a little bit smaller. I don't need it that big. Hit okay, and perfect. Okay, so once I have everything exactly how I want it, I have the right colors and all that kind of stuff, I am ready to stitch out, okay? So, um, as you can see, I have my water soluble stabilizer in here. It's going to baste around, all right? Now, another thing I'm going to do, let me just double check, is my bobbin, because I have done several of these. I'm gonna put a fresh bobbin in here, but of course, I'm not gonna throw away the bobbin that was that I just took out because there's still thread on there. And I am one of those people, that is right, that I use every single thread. So now I'm going to put a fresh bobbin in there because the only reason why I wanna do that is just so that it doesn't stop in the middle of anything, okay? And now this is fine. Another thing that I sometimes do Okay, because I am, I, I like to be neat. So I sometimes, what I like to do is I like to fold like this a little bit. You know, just so that, okay. You know, I don't move like that, okay? And then I'm going to put this here. Good cover. Put my little pen back. And, and we edit. Looks good, everything's good, I'm happy. Hit embroidery, I got all the right colors in the right place, and now I'm just going to embroider. So now I'm going to just play some music while this thing embroiders and stuff, and you guys just um, enjoy it, okay?
Okay. That looks really, really, really good. Like it. Let's take this out and let's take a look at it. So I'm going to take this over to the um, cutting table and let's take a look at what we got. All right, guys, let me bring it on over. Okay, first things first, I'm going to cut the basting stitch off. Turn off the uh, the thing. I got the something playing on the other room. Hold on. Sorry about that. I had uh, a little uh, movie playing on the other room and stuff, and I could hear it and stuff. So anyway, all right. What I did when I cut around is I was just cutting out the basting stitch. So now I'm going to remove the hoop from this, and I'm going to move it on the other side. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear this off, this is cut away, And I'll leave the little piece in there. So this is fine. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it over. Okay. And I'm just gonna take this off. Let's give you a close-up so you guys can see what it looked like. Put this aside. See? Look how pretty. So in case you guys are wondering, this is silver. I use silver in here and I use black. Okay? So to fold this to get to a customer. Um like this. Let me uh, move this little side so that way you guys can take see how I actually fold this whole thing. Nicely 
folded the customer pay instructions, how to care for it. instructions in, how to care for it. So here you go. So these are bath towels, perfect gifts, okay, to have H HB on them, and two of them have JP on them. Ain't that cool? So they are ready for the customer. So now what I'll do is I'll just email the customer and I'll just tell her that her towels are complete and they are ready to be picked up. Very easy, very simple to do. This is a very beautiful font. Um, if you're interested in getting this font, um, I will put the link in the video description of where you can find this font. Very, very nice. I really like the font. Um, yeah, really pretty. So guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm all about embroidering sewing and all types of crafts so you guys take care and enjoy the holidays and have fun making all those gifts okay so i'll talk to you guys later bye